Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He said, you can't run, you can't jump, you can't dribble, you can't shoot, and you can't rebound, son. What I've been trained to do, I'm connected to a shark. I'm connected to the greatest training organization in the world. And when I get home, I'm going to become somebody different. What do I need to do? You need to have an honest self-assessment about what your weaknesses are. And that's how you get to the next level. My sophomore year rolls around. We go all the way to the Sweet 16, and I'm the top six man in the country. I go back to my coach. What do I need to do to play in the NBA? The list got shorter. The next year, we went all the way to the Elite Eight. We were one shot away from the Final Four, and I was the top six man in the country. I carved out a niche. And that's what impact players do. They make their community better. They make their city better. They make their town better. They make realtors better. Be an impact player, and anyone in your life, if they need a shark, you become their shark. All I had to do was have one good year, and I walked right into the NBA. My senior year, Everything lines up. But the first game of my senior year, I break my foot. I come back in six weeks and I break my foot a second time. In my mind, my college career was over and my NBA dreams were dead. I have seven points a game. I got an offer a $75,000 job because one of my season ticket holders liked me. Right before I took the job, my daddy called me on the phone. He would always ask the right questions at the right time. He said, you had a tough year, son, what's next? I said, Daddy, I'm going to be a hospital administrator, $75,000 job. He said, not bad, son, but can I ask you a question? Do you believe you're an NBA player? Come on now, Dad. I only have seven points a game, Dad. We're not like these other black families that just need basketball, Dad. We're educated, Dad. We're not dependent on basketball, Dad. We're balanced, Dad. We're educated, Dad. I got a $75,000 job, Dad. Do you believe, son? He was checking my mindset. He was checking to see, was I thinking like an ace? Those are falling back into that C mindset. Do you believe you're an NBA player? I said, yeah, Dad, I do. He said, well, go for it, son, but, but Dad, I never started in college, but, but, but. My father said, you told me, son, that you're gonna turn that program around and you did it from the bench, son. You told me you're gonna graduate in four years, son. The average student graduating five, I'm proud of you. But you told me that you're going to play in the NBA. And you told me you're going to make more money in business than you did in sports. Do you believe you're an NBA ball player? I do, Daddy. Go for it, son. Go for it. I go back to my coach's office. And I said, Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He teared up. I teared up. He said, I'll be honest with you, son. When I recruited you, I heard you was a mama's boy. But you're not. In fact, you're one of the toughest players I've ever had. I'm a Hall of Fame motivational speaker. I go all over the world running my mouth. But he gave me the greatest compliment I've ever received. He said, you're just like your daddy. <laughs> My daddy was a shark. And I was a sucker fish. But that moment was my opportunity 
to turn into a shark myself. If you hang around sharks long enough, it will transform your mindset. And I promise you, you will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die. Brian Buffini, he can't go backwards. And if he stops swimming, he will die. So ladies and gentlemen, you're connected to the right shark. All you need to do is be a good sucker fish. Success is all around you. Just pay attention. Every time you leave a business meeting, consciously and subconsciously, that person is debriefing you. Are you likable? Do you brighten up a room when you enter? Or do you brighten up a room when you leave? Are you good with people? And don't you ever be a Sarah Parasite, which means don't you ever come to this conference and go back home and do nothing. And then claim, oh, well, I tried and it didn't work. No. My college basketball coach said, son, I think you should be a motivational speaker. I said, coach, I can talk the rest of my life. What do I need to do to play in the NBA? He said, if you do those two things, you'll play in the NBA. You got to better shoot the three-point shot with range. And you got to lose about 15 pounds because you don't pass the eyeball test. When I talk about the eyeball test, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. He says the NBA thinks you're a football player trying to play basketball. You gotta lose weight to change the perception. I lost 15 pounds, and I became the first ever undrafted rookie free agent in the history of the NBA to start opening night. Tick. Tick tock. We've all heard the sound of a clock. Have you ever stopped to think about what it means? There are two fixed points in your life, birth and death. And what happens in between, that's under your control. It's the only thing under your control. Now we have no idea what the distance between birth and death is going to be. And you've heard the story so many times. Somebody gets really bad news. They find out they've got life-threatening cancer. They've only got a few months to live. They quit their job, sell all their possessions and go volunteering in a far off country, giving back to other people, spending time with the people important to them and spending time doing the things that really matter the most. So why is it that we wait for such a massive moment for us to take massive action? What if you could change everything today? What if you could change everything in an instant right now, watching this video on YouTube, on your phone or your laptop or wherever you are, what if change could happen? I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law will be knocking at your door. Why? I don't know why. That's called life. And you have to deal with it. Sometimes your life will be in a slump. Just like sports, some of the best shooters can't hit baskets different times in games. They get in a slump. Do they sit on the sideline and say, you know, I just didn't hit a basket today? No, they continue to execute. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy, work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself from the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. Repeat out to me, help somebody. And help yourself. Because what you give is what you get. Find somebody that you can help so you can forget about you for a moment. See, sometimes the best thing to do is to be. Sometimes you have to just back up and go within yourself.
Time is all we have. This moment, right now. There's only one thing in our lives that we're never able to reacquire once it's gone. And I'm not talking about money, I'm not talking about material items, I'm talking about time. And it's such a unique concept, unique idea, because when utilized correctly, it contains the ingredients to success, to happiness, to growth, prosperity, all the things we want. But at the very same time, if neglected, it leaves us with very little. Because the truth is, every morning when you wake up, you are living minutes you will never get back. You are breathing air you will never take in again. It is your one opportunity to embrace this gift. And every second sees a little of it slip away. And my point is that there is no moment more important, more perfect than right now. Not in a week, not after your promotion, not in 30 years when you plan to retire and relax. Right now. See, we have this mentality that the future is going to somehow mean more than the present. That if we suffer now or if we're unhappy now, that we'll save the best in life for some other time. But the reality is, we don't get younger. Yes, we should be working hard. Absolutely, success comes from effort, hard work, dedication, persistence. But the key is, allocate your precious time to the work, to the things that make you feel like today is powerful. That right now is so amazing, you don't want it to end. Today is when you take the first step towards the things you want when you become who you want to become. No one is ever or will ever keep you from that other than yourself. There is no ceiling, there is no limitation, there is no special requirement. There is you and what you allow yourself to accomplish. You are the gatekeeper, you have your foot on the gas pedal. And it's so easy to point to others, right? To point to our environment, to blame things on everything but our own decision, our decision to stick to the status quo. Because believe it or not, it is that simple. You are where you are because that's where you've decided to be. And you've accepted that as okay. Look, if you want change, then manufacture change. Create a plan and move, go, transform. Step out of your head and into the real world. Think about how lucky we are. To be alive in this day and age with access to all the information we could ever dream of, technology that enables growth, freedom to pursue any path that looks appealing, anything we could ever want is right in front of us, yet we don't embrace it. Why? Why in the world would we let that be? Nothing is more important in life than living it. Nothing makes us feel more energized, more free, more happy than following the path we were meant to take. It's having the courage to step over the obstacles, to face the challenges, to be uncomfortable. And at the beginning, it's tough, right? Change is tough. Getting what you want isn't easy. There's a period of struggle, of growth, but once you get through it, you understand what living really is which brings us right back to the concept of time, our small existence on this planet, the greatest gift a human being can receive. You, by default, have it. Don't ever let it be in vain. The future isn't when happiness someday occurs. It's a continuation of you living every moment to the fullest, from now until your last. Make every trip around the sun better than the previous. Never let a moment of sunshine, clouds, or rain deprive you of your gift. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Live the life you were meant to live. All it takes is a simple decision. So when you imagine the change that you want to create in your life, the person that you know you want to be, that you should be, based on the resources 
and ideas that you have, what is stopping you? What's stopping you from waking up early? What's stopping you from creating good habits? What's stopping you from cutting people out of your life that you know no longer serve you? That clock, it's always ticking. And one day, it won't. You'll be met with silence. And this journey, it will end. And at that moment, when people look at your gravestone, when they come to your funeral, what is it that you want them to remember you for? What kind of impact and legacy do you want to leave behind through the lesson that is your life? And are you really living that lesson every single day? Stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop waiting for the perfect moment. And start now. Start believing. Start dreaming. And create the life and the person that you really want to see. Because like I said at the beginning, tick tock. Tick tock. They had the nerve to count you out. That's because they didn't understand that your motivation would never let you stay down for the count. It's times like these that we separate the real from the fake. And when it's like you can take a punch and bounce right back because you understand and know exactly what's at stake. It's times like these that we separate the real from the fake. And when it's like you can take a punch, bounce right back because you understand and know exactly what's at stake. It's money time, baby. And this is for all of the marbles. It's put up or shut up. Survive in advance. Win or go home. And that's why you spend all those hours grinding. That's why you spend all those hours pushing yourself to the limit. You spend all those hours running. That's why you spend all those hours sacrificing. You spend all those hours sweating because you know there will be no time for regretting, fretting, or letting yourself or your teammates down. See, you are bound and determined to enter into the realm of greatness that's reserved for you and only you. And so if the day ever comes that you're tired enough to quit, then I need you to act like a car with four flats and retire. I don't think you heard me. I said, if the day ever comes that you are tired enough to quit, then I need you to act like a car with four flats and retire. Next level success is reserved for those that are willing to not start counting the reps until it starts hurting. Not start counting the shots made until their arms are dead tired. Not start counting the sprints until they're already breathing hard. I heard a wise man say, it hurts, but it works. I say when it hurts, then and only then will you start receiving the perks, the accolades, the atta boys, the atta girls, the great jobs, the alley-oop lobs, the celebration parties with the lobster and shish kebabs, the hoisting of the banners, the sizing for the rings, the smiles, the hugs, and all of the love and respect in between. See, some of you out there, you in the dark. <laughs> and you know what I need you to do for me when you're in the dark, right? Turn the lights on when I'm talking to you, because I don't think you heard me. I said, next level success is reserved for those that are willing to not start counting the reps until it starts hurting. Not start counting the shots made until their arms are dead tired. Not start counting the sprints until they're already breathing hard. So just when they think you're about to throw in the towel, that's when I need you to recall all of the days that you went that extra mile. All of them days that your friend said you were fouled, when you said you couldn't hang out because you were dialed in. You were locked in, you were in a zone, so you had to be strong because you knew the day would come when you would have to show the world that you could overcome any adversity, any obstacles, any hardships, any setbacks, because you were prepared for any and everything. And you understood that it would be impossible to run with them cheetahs when you're walking with the turtles. You understood that it would be impossible for you to run with the cheetahs when you were walking with the turtles. So your mindset is that of a track star, and that gives you the mental strength to leap over life's hurdles, to power through the speed bumps, to push through the roadblocks, and continue to grind past any and every obstruction that attempts to deter you from your ultimate goal of next level success. So the stresses of the world, <laughs> you laugh at. 
The dreams they say are out of your reach, you grab it. The things they say you can't achieve, you take a stab at. And when the bullies of life try to knock you out, you stick and move and you jab at. I said the stresses of the world, you laugh at. The dreams they say are out of your reach, you go and grab at them. The things they say you can't achieve, you take a stab at them. And when the bullies of life try to knock you out, you stick and move and you jab at them. And on the rare occasion that you take a punch from life and it knocks you down, you dig deep and then you dig deeper and then you dig even deeper because you understand that this is the moment to pick yourself up Push through with determination and grit because of all your resiliency, commitment, hard work, perseverance. You have now put yourself in position to show the world that you got that dog and your inner dog has no quit. I said this is the moment to pick yourself up and push through with determination and grit because of all your resiliency, commitment, hard work, perseverance. You have put yourself in a position to show the world that you got that dog. And your inner dog has no quit. Guardianship, ritual, loyalty and spirit. Wolves are loved by many, but feared by the majority of people. They live an extraordinary life. And the same can be said about most high-performing individuals in this world. See, what I've come to realize is that when you want a seemingly peaceful life with as little resistant as possible, being absolutely loved and not despised, not condemned, not criticized, being good with everyone, the best way to achieve this is to be as neutral as you can towards other people. Don't give resistance and you won't get resistance. People who like this way of living do it all because they aren't willing to face rejection. They aren't willing to feel awkwardness. They aren't willing to try again when they fail. They aren't willing to make the hard decision. They aren't willing to move out their comfort zone. They aren't willing to face things to grow. And when they see others make those decisions, instead of applauding them, they start hating on them and try to break them down. Nice life haters live by the status quo that is set by society and I strongly advise you to get out of my face. This force will make the tornado stop. This force explodes with more power than a volcano. This force is nurtured and raised by anger and pain. Why are you so serious? Why are you so disciplined? Why are you going through life this way? Because I've been through hell, and I ain't never going back there. I have been broken, family had no money, my brothers and sisters didn't have anything. Surrounded by people who had it all while we had nothing. Surrounded by people who put us down while we were trying to raise up. Surrounded by people who said we wouldn't amount to shit. And guess what, 10 years later, 10 years later I achieved it, surpassed you hater. All those suckers are now attracted to me, like moths are to fire. And boy, they better don't get close to my internal fire because they will be burned by my passion. They will be burned by my desires. They will be burned by my present dedication, internal inspiration and discipline. I am unstoppable. Come and get me out of my zone. Don't flinch in times of stress. Don't start running. The moment you start running away from your problem, guys, the moment you start running away from the bear in your mind, the moment you get chased in your own internal world, ha, ha, the external world will suck you in. You'll be thrown off your game, and what you're left with is addiction and depression. Light years away from infinite satisfaction. Stand firm, stand grounded, stand strong. Don't procrastinate the small things, guys. They lead to the enormous achievement. Every single day, make the daily sacrifices in life. They will lead to the most enormous achievements you will ever, you, you can't imagine that right now, guys. Keep doing it, build up the right habits. Move heaven and earth to achieve what you want. It ain't easy, it is hard. I'm gonna tell you straight away, it is hard. It ain't clean, it is a bloodbath in your mind. It ain't comfort, it is growth. 
Grow, champion, grow. Grow your mind, grow your body, grow your spiritual being. Grow as a human person, grow the society, move it towards a better place in life. Guys, once you know what you want, and if you have the perfect plan, perfect timing, perfect structure, but you're not starting, Something's off there, guys. That's just as useful as rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. You will sink in life. If waves of emotion get the better of you, you won't be able to see anything. You'll be blinded in life. Everything around you is dark, bitter and cold. What are you going to do then? When you're surrounded by darkness, when fear creeps in, when doubt sinks in, the only thing you can do, guys, is push back. And you have to prepare yourself, prepare your mind right now for those dark times. Remember my friends, when you are in those dark times, just because the sky is cloudy does not mean there's no sun. If you go through life without a plan of attack, you'll look back at it and realize all you feel before you die is regret. See there's no point in winging it. When you have only one life, one shot and just hoping you might get there someday. That's like shooting dogs blindfolded. Arm yourself with a little knowledge and your aim improves instantly. Arm yourself with enough fuel to shoot towards it like a rocket and once you launch, the gravity will try to pull you back. The moment you want to change, your family will try to pull you back. The atmosphere is trying to keep you where you are. Society is trying to keep you right where you are. But you've already launched. Something has snapped in your mind. Motivation launched you towards a better life. It's your internal drive now, your discipline that will ensure you reach your destination. You create the life you want for the same family and the same friends who try to keep you where you are. They did it out of love, but you knew better. This is your life and you better move out of the backseat and take control over the wheel. Take control of your life, guys. Start by, start by knowing your mind. Start by reading about your mind, expanding your mind, instead of watching entertainment 24-7, which gives you nothing but a few dopamine hits. Guys, that's a nice, nice life, right? What did you did when you were young? Well, I watched this series, I watched this series, I watched... Get the f*** out of here, man, and experience life like it's supposed to. You're being victimized by the app developers, by society. They trying to categorize you as human beings. We are born with labels. Which country are you from? Dude, what the f does it matter what country someone's from? Well, what color is your skin? Again, who gives a sh They create separation, guys. Life is supposed to unite everyone, to put all our minds together and grow from there, to bring humanity to another level. That's not happening anymore. Don't become victimized, guys. Become a leader. Become a pillar in this community. Try to have as much positive influence on others instead of trying to break them down when they are sharing their opinion, their views of life. What are we doing, man? Develop the right habits. We live around 99% of our lives on autopilot. Reprogram that autopilot every single day and you'll become different. You start doing the things you set out to do, the things you want to achieve. It grows your confidence. It's a mentality that no one can take from you. It's a way of life. It's a lifestyle that leads to character. You walk through life with mental freshness. You won't be affected by external influences because you are in control of your own life. You are in control of your own future. You are in control of your destiny. And that, guys, that intimidates people. Listen, in the world that we live in, I firmly believe that when you don't intimidate people, when you don't get resistance from people because of who you are, it's because you are compliant and living within the norm. Don't do anything extraordinary and you'll live a normal life. Every time I've done something different, every time I've wore something different, every time I said something different, people criticize you, they attack you like, hey, get back in line. Interesting. 
instead of becoming the person you want to be, you're confining yourself into a group that we are from birth divided towards. It's like a trap they set out for us and you're just diving deep into it. Why? Why would you do that? See, guys, most of you don't want to live like sheep. The people who are trying to get somewhere in life, they don't think like sheep do. They don't want to live in a packed crowd. There will always be things pushing you there and leading you to what they want. Problems will spring up like mushrooms after rain, guys. Live on the top. There are way less people there. The top is where you live happily with the people you want and have all the space that you ever wished for, all the privileges you ever wished for, and you will get the maximum out of life. Strive towards the potential and therefore, let the sheep stay where they are. They are born haters. They will stay hating whatever you do. Instead, climb to the top of the mountain. Climb to your empire as a wolf. The climb will be brutal, painful, and maybe destructive. Guys, that's life. If you want to get somewhere, you got to do something. You got to pay the price. Listen, friends, life will inevitably bring you down at some point. We'll try to put out your internal fire, but the bigger your fire is, the more it takes to get you on your knees. A warrior doesn't get down easily. You don't get down easily. Remember this in your hard times, and remember this in your tough times. If you still have air in your lungs, if you still have one ember of light, no matter how dimly it smolders, your discipline will fan it into a fire. Your drive, your passion, your dedication and your will is all that you need to succeed. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Don't think you don't have it. There's a saying guys, the bud is not less whole than the blossom. It's just at a different stage of development. Focus on your development. Never break your discipline. Push through the pain, push through the hurt, push through the past and build yourself up. Build the foundation. This is the moment, guys. This will change it all. Transform the pain into pride. Pain, guys, is intangible. Pain is not real. Pain is subjective. What's pain for you is not pain for me. Pain is fake. Get it out of your system. You are an unknown force. You are the new era. Your mind is beyond anything remotely imaginable. Get going, keep fighting, you almost made it. Where is your pride? Use your pain to get rid of pain. Use your anger to get the job done. They laugh at you, they joke about you. Go on, listen to them. They got to you, give up. What, what are you doing now? Why do you keep on going now? What's going on? You are a rebel, aren't you? You're a man, you're a warrior, you're a pillar, a legend. You are a victor and one. Live your life, guys, live.